It was just after the war that I went to Chelsea School of Art. It was called School of Art, not college. <laughs> I went there and I wanted to be a painter. I had done a bit of lino cutting and I'd observed fabric printing at, at, the, at the art school. And the thought came to me that I'd always been interested in repeat patterns. You need a subject for your, for your design and fortunately on the, we lived by the river and there was angelica growing profusely and it's a very marvellous plant, it's very architectural. That went very happily into a repeat pattern. In those days there was a large second-hand printing machine warehouse in Brixton. It was a vast place with machines as big as a house and in the corner was this small um, unloved proofing press. Anyway, we bought it and it was dumped on the pavement and it was weighed nearly a ton and I thought, now what? Because the studio was upstairs and I didn't see, I thought we'd have to pull the wall down to, <laughs> to get it in. The original patterns were all one colour, but then when we had the press, we realised that you could have two colours and you could su superimpose them and you would get a, three, a third colour where they overlapped. Those nice people from Joe Malone, London came and we had a great discussion and we thought about allotments, we thought about the river, but then we thought about gardens and everybody was happy with the idea of gardens. I started work at this end of these two blocks and when I had done a certain amount, I took a preliminary print, which was this one, and I was quite, I was encouraged by that. I thought, well, it might turn out all right, and I went on and did the whole thing. I thought about this garden, of course, and then we had um, the children muck about in it. They put up the hoops and they have a croquet match. I chose the fig because it has beautiful, lovely, fluid leaves. A rose, well, everybody loves a rose, and it's a very nice plant to draw. A pear, of course, is a natural because you've got the blossom and the fruit and the leaves. And then honey, I went to the allotment and I found a beehive to draw. And here is the lion from Chiswick House. Henry James is a writer I'm very fond of and he happened to say that the two happiest words in the English language were summer afternoon. So we thought we'd call the pattern the summer afternoon. <laughs>